No, and especially tomorrow when all the cloud cover is going to come for sure. Uh, take the umbrella tomorrow as Doppler has been saying. But uh, game on. Either way, the missing piece throughout this week was those Central Michigan Chippewas. This afternoon they arrived to El Paso with all the excitement and flair that the Sun City is known for. Yeah, you know, there you are, the Flacorico dancers, the mariachis. It's just been a crazy few days for the Central Michigan football team. Remember, they were expecting to play in the Arizona Bowl, but when their opponent, Boise State, backed out due to COVID, the Arizona Bowl was canceled, so Central Michigan accepted the invite from the Sun Bowl, who was also looking for another opponent for Washington State because, of course, Miami withdrew from the Sun Bowl due to COVID. So the pieces just aligned. The Chippewas were already in Tucson, so today they drove down to El Paso to their hotel at the Marriott Airport Hotel, and they're ready for the challenge on taking on a Washington State team out of the Pac-12, but it's more than just a game for the Chippewas. The sub between the Sun Bowl and the Mid-American Conference, us being able to get this accomplished is something that uh, I'm just grateful for our players, you know, I mean, Coaches, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's another day. And uh, yet for the players, it's something they'll remember for the rest of their lives. And coming up in sports on ABC 7 at 6, we'll hear from the head coach of the Washington State Cougars, Jake Dickert, how he's feeling one day out from game day. Remember the Tony the Tiger Sumbull tomorrow kickoff at 10 a.m. And bring that umbrella for sure. Stephanie, send yeah, it to good you. advice.